how can you save money on taking a DNA test for genealogical purposes to kind of discover your parents, your great grandparents, overcome a genealogy brick wall, whatever you're trying to do with a DNA test. What are some ways that can save you some money? Today we're gonna to talk about when you can find some sales, but I'm also gonna show you a hack of a way that you can take your DNA tests and use them elsewhere, saving you some serious money and giving you more information at the same time. I am Amy Cross and I'm here to help you take your genealogy to the next level and today we're gonna to save you money while we do it. Now, there is a handout for this video, and as with all my handouts, I always have more information in my handouts than I have in the video. In this handout particularly, I go over the cost of the different DNA tests, as well as all of the different features that that DNA test offers for you, and analysis options and junk like that, including my perceived advantages and disadvantages of each test. So hopefully that will be very, very helpful for you. You can either get it on my Etsy page, or you can get it through being part of Amy's Crew, a YouTube membership for $9.99 a month, where you get the handout for free as well as you have access to my live streams. You have access to my entire library. I do a live stream every month where we talk about different projects that I'm working on and you ask questions along the way and I'll answer your questions, whether they're related to my what I'm working on or whether it's something different. It's a great opportunity for us to get together. So you could either find links to either of those in the video description below or at the end of the video, I'll give you links to both either the Etsy page or Amy's crew. Finally, I would encourage you to be part of my email list. I send out a monthly email, but I also send out occasional notifications about things happening in the industry, different vendors having different sales or new releases or whatever, and follow me on social media. All right, let's dive in here. When is the best time to buy a DNA test? Generally speaking, the holiday season is one of the very best times, November, December, particularly Black Friday and Cyber Monday. But the DNA tests also always go on sale for Mother's Day and Father's Day. And frequently you can find great prices on the Amazon Prime Day, usually sometime in mid-July. Finally, Roots Tech is another great place. They always go on sale at Roots Tech, sometimes for fantastic prices. And usually you have to be part of Roots Tech to get that price, but good news, you can attend in person, but you can also attend virtually to Roots Tech and it's free. And that gives you access to some of the great pricing that's available by some of the vendors. So you might wanna check Roots Tech out. I'll put a link for that as well in my video description. All right, so my hack to save you money and help you not only get DNA test results on one site by buying their test, but take those results and use them elsewhere. Let's talk a little bit about the DNA testing companies. Now, Ancestry has by far the largest database. They also are a little bit more expensive than most of the other companies. Um, they have over 25 million DNA tests in their database as of the 1st of 2024, January 2024. Now, MyHeritage has just under 7.5 million tests at the same time period in, in January of 2024. They're the next largest database. Family Tree DNA also sells autosomal DNA tests. They also sell Y-DNA and MT DNA tests. Um, they have about 2 million DNA tests in their autosomal database. And so that's another place where you can go and they have some really great tools on their website. And then GEDmatch doesn't sell DNA tests, but they have about 2 million tests in their site as well and they give you some pretty phenomenal tools. So what do you do and where do you go? Oh, and I can't neglect 23andMe because there's a lot of people that have tested on 23andMe. The downside with 23andMe is that most of the people that test on 23andMe are testing for health reasons. They wanna know some of their health predispositions. Um, and there's not a lot of information in the database with your matches that can really help you use it for match identification and help you overcome those brick walls. And that's really what we're talking about here. The whole reason to upload your DNA to an additional site is if you're wanting to use your DNA results to look at your matches because the more matches that you can look at, the better the chances are that you're going to be able to identify either an adoptive parent or the parents of some brick wall where you just can't figure out who their parents are. So the more matches, the better. So my recommendation, my recommendation is to test on Ancestry because 
Ancestry and 23andMe do not allow you to upload your DNA to their website. You have to test with them. And you may have some strong feelings about that, but that's the way it is. So because it's such a huge database, I would recommend purchasing the Ancestry test and uploading your DNA on Ancestry. And then you can download that raw DNA data and you can upload it to the other places and get some of those advantages that they offer, like chromosome browsing. I hear that a lot. People want Ancestry to put a chromosome browser on there. And I'm told by them that it isn't gonna happen. Now I'm not an employee of Ancestry and maybe someday it will, but it's not happening now and I've been told that it's probably not going to happen. So if you want a chromosome browser, you got to put your DNA somewhere else. In addition to getting the chromosome browser, each of these sites has some other amazing tools that can really make a difference as you're working with those DNA matches. And I go into a lot more detail on that in my handout. Now let's talk about downloading your DNA results so that you can then upload them elsewhere or just keep a copy of it. If you go up there to your face or your initials, however you've done it, then you're going to see your screen here that tells you everything about your Ancestry account. And if you go down down here, you're going to see Manage Your DNA Test. And then you just click the um, settings right there by Manage Your DNA Test. And then this is going to tell you the information about your test. Then you scroll down and right down here, you can download DNA data and then you understand their warnings and hit continue, and it will just download a copy of the DNA data to your tablet. Now, if you're on a computer, you need to get to the settings, your DNA settings. There's two different ways. One of them is the back doorway, and one of them is kind of more of a front doorway. The front doorway is to go up to your face up on the top right, and then you can click your account settings, and then you can go to your DNA, and then you can click your DNA test and then you can go down, scroll down and you can download your DNA data. It looks very similar to the app. So the back doorway is just click invite. And then if you notice up here on the top left, you see DNA settings, Amy Cross, DNA test sharing, which is where we are. Just go to the DNA settings. Now I'm there and then I can click my test. And then I can scroll down and download my DNA data. It's that simple. Now let's move to uploading your DNA to a different website. And let's start with MyHeritage. I'm gonna put links to these other sites in the show note descriptions. So you can go there, but basically you could do a Google search and just put in MyHeritage upload DNA and you'll go to this page and you can upload your DNA here and start and it'll take you through the process. It doesn't cost you anything on MyHeritage to upload your DNA. Now, when you upload for free, not all features are going to be free. It, you can upload it, you can see some things, but you're not gonna be able to see everything. Now, if you have it in MyHeritage account, then you will be able to see everything. But if you don't have a MyHeritage account, you don't want one, you can pay a fee to go ahead and add in those other DNA tools. Most recently, it's been $29. However, that could change. And that's a one-time fee. It's not one that you have to pay every year or every month. Another place you might wanna upload your DNA is Family Tree DNA. Here you can also upload your DNA data for free. They also charge you an additional fee if you want all of their features. Another place that you might wanna upload your DNA is to GEDmatch. And that is a site where they don't even offer DNA tests, but people can upload their DNA there to share the information and hopefully find some of the matches that they're looking for. Like the other sites, the upload is free, but they do have some additional tools that can cost you a little bit more money. Now, these tools are not gonna work. Your matches that are on Ancestry aren't gonna transfer over to these other sites. Your information is gonna transfer to the other sites, and then you can see who you're matching that are on those sites. I hope this has been a helpful video for you. I really think that whenever I can save money, I'm a happy girl. And this is a great way to save you some money and get you access to more matches and some more tools. 
Um, this other video right over here is how to sort your DNA matches. It applies specifically to Ancestry, but actually the principle of sorting applies to all of the different websites. And while MyHeritage maybe doesn't have the colors, you can put different matches into groups. So essentially you're doing the same thing. So I hope that helps you out. Have a great day.